unboxing and I'm pretty excited to get into this. We've got something new in from Redwind and this is the Cobra TRA 5MO8 Green Dot. Alright, there is a little backstory to this dot. Now Redwind did send this out to the channel, but I was actually doing some research on the new enclosed emitter green dot that Viridian has out and I stumbled upon this and this thing has got some really cool features which we're going to get into here in a second but uh, I actually reached out to Red Wind. I sent him an email I said look I really really want to review this dot on the channel and uh, they were nice enough to send it out so let's take a little walk around the packaging so this is the top of the box the side here has all the specs, if you want to pause it, and a QR code. And your bottom's got your barcodes. This side says Cobra, and the ends are just black. And all this does is it slides out. It's actually really nice packaging. So you got a little sleeve that goes over that, and then you've got a lid that lifts off. Got some foam padding in here, and you've got your user manual. There is the other side. We have a cleaning cloth with their logo on it. I always like that, it's a nice touch. Got this pretty cool tool here, and we're going to get into this in a second. And it does have a card with QR codes to scan. This does come with a five-year warranty. All right, so we got a couple plates in here. We're going to get into these plates here in a second. But uh, we got mounting plates. And then we've got a torx wrench and a flathead screwdriver. And we have the optic. Now, that is everything in the box. All right, here is our dot. And like I said, this is the Cobra TRA 5MOA green dot. Now, this is an enclosed emitter dot. And one thing that I like about it, it actually has a pretty decent sized window for an enclosed emitter dot. And speaking of that window, it is a 21 by 17 millimeter window. All right, so let's get into all the boring stuff about this dot, and then we'll get into the stuff that I'm actually excited about. So the dimensions on this, it has an overall length of 1.78 inches. It's got a width on it of 1.06 inches. Your height on this is 1.18 inches, and the weight on this is 1.77 ounces. Now this does run on a CR2032 battery. It does have 50,000 hours of max battery life and obviously that is on the lowest setting. And speaking of the settings, it does have 10 brightness settings and two of those are for NV. Now being that the Cobra is an enclosed emitter dot, this is IPX67 waterproof and it is nitrogen purged. All right, let's talk about the windage and elevation. It is one MOA per click, and you have 45 MOA of total adjustment on the windage and on the elevation. Now I got the flathead screwdriver, and uh, I'm gonna check these. Oh wow, these actually have really nice tactile clicks. They're not real audible. Let's check our windage here. Oh yeah, same thing. Nice tactile clicks on this. That's pretty impressive. Now the Cobra does have Shake Awake. So this will auto shut off after two minutes. And if you grab your gun or touch the dot, it will turn back on. Now the Cobra is also shock proof and this is rated all the way up to 300 Win Mag. All right, we got all the boring stuff out of the way. Let's talk about why I wanted this dot so bad and what I like about it. Because I review so many dots on this channel, it takes quite a bit to get me excited. 
when it comes to these dots. First thing, this is a top load battery, but I have never had an enclosed optic that the battery actually mounts up in the top of the optic. So this threads off, and that's what this fancy tool they sent us is for. We'll take this off and take a look here. Because there was no battery in the package, and there's no battery in here. But that's okay. I've got a ton of CR2032 battery. But anyway, I thought this is really cool. Um, there are other optics out there that have the battery mount in the top of the enclosed emitter. But this is the first one I've had on the channel. All right, I put a brand new Duracell in here and I've got the dot on as you can see. And um, what I'm seeing is it's definitely bright. Getting just a little bit of star bursting. That's one nice thing about the green dots. They don't star burst as bad as the red, at least for me. But I can tell it's plenty bright and uh, pretty nice. Alright, so we covered my two favorite things about this dot. It is an enclosed emitter, and I think that the battery tray in the very top of the optic is pretty cool. Now, here is what got me with this optic. This is my favorite part about this dot. So, this runs on what they call the Acro footprint. And most enclosed emitter dots have that. So you do have a recoil lug here. And it basically kind of mounts like you mount an optic to a 1913 Picatinny rail. So let me get the adapter that I'm actually going to be using out of the packaging here so I can kind of show you what's going on. So this is your bottom of your plate, which is going to sit on top of your slide. And then your acro mounts to this plate. And that is how that works. Now what's cool about this, this is an RMR to acro plate. Okay, and that's what most of these dots when you buy them come with. Or they're going to come with a MOS to acro. But Redwind takes it a step further, and I've never seen this before. This is an acro plate, but this is for RMS-C. Now what's cool about that? Well, a lot of your 1911s, your double stack, 1911s, 2011s, whatever you want to call them, have the RMSC footprint. But most enclosed emitter dots when you buy them are only going to come with either the MOS to Acro or the RMR. But with this plate, you can actually put your bigger enclosed emitter dots on your 1911s or any gun for that matter that has RMSC footprint. The other cool thing is Redwin also offers one of these plates to go from doctor footprint, which is your vortex footprint, to the acro. And they also have an option to get a low profile Picatinny mount and they also have the taller co-witness riser mount. So they have five different mounting options for this dot on their website. All right, I know this is kind of going longer than some of my other unboxing videos, but uh, hey, I'm finally like super excited about an optic that's come to the channel that's not like all the other ones. So let me go get this mounted up on the gun we're gonna put it on. I can't show you that here on YouTube. And uh, I do wanna check the shake awake before we get out of here. So let me get it mounted on the gun. I'll show you what gun we're putting it on. Uh, very few people have seen the gun that we're putting this on, so it's going to be pretty cool. Let me get that done. We'll come back, check the shake wake, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. We'll get out of here and uh, get this thing out to the range in the next video for a review. All right, you can see we got the green dot on. Let's give this a few minutes, see if it shuts off, and we'll check the shake wake. All right, it looks like our dot is off, and hopefully I've got this camera right where it needs to be. Yeah, it was a little low, but I think everybody saw that come on. I know I did.
All right, this gun is clear. No mag, nothing in the chamber. Well, I put it on our Kiger slash dagger, and I like it. I think it looks pretty cool. All right, so there was a couple things I forgot to mention. Uh, one, if you do manually shut this dot off um, and you turn it back on, it will go right back to the brightness level setting you had it on, and the same if you're using Shake Awake, when you tap the dot or grab your gun, it will go right back to the same brightness. And another really awesome thing, the uh, dagger's got suppressor height sights on it, and I am able to co-witness very well. Yeah, so far, I'm happy with it. I like the way it looks. I like all the features. And uh, Shake Awake works good. So that's all I got. We'll get this thing out to the range in the next video and test it out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.